Hello everyone, today we are gonna know about the async and launch. What is the main difference? Why we prefer to use the async when we are waiting for return value? Alright, now let's get started. First of all, I would create here to suspend function here private suspend function network call one. Alright, and uh, here pass a delay delay and wait for three second then here it should extend the string here string all right now we here we would return a value return value answer one all right now here two and here answer two all right now here we have created these two both are suspend function which take time here for this now here let me first create a scope here global scope global scope dot launch and here pass a dispatcher dot io dispatchers dot io all right now here what we will do first we would get these two values here to know what is the difference why we use it here just use uh, where answer one equal network call one all right here and uh, then second one all right now here let me print these both of these log g here and uh, answer one here use a dollar sign to get a variable answer one all right uh, this one should be two and this one also all right now let me print these both and uh, let me also print a message here how much time it get when executing this so for that uh, uh, Kotlin has a written function here well uh, time here equal time in millis my year time millis all right and here we would paste this and also print this one here log g request time request time dollar time all right now let me print this run this now here if you take a look here here uh, these both are printed at same time 0 3 second 0 3 second both are at same time both are printed at same time but here it took 6 second here Six thousand millisecond or six second here. Why? Because the uh, this uh, we have delayed it here. Now let us know why does it take that much time? How we can make it uh, to get less time? So for that, uh, let me create uh, another variable. Answer one equal. Oh, sorry, extend string. Nullable string na equal null and here two and here i would pass a launch here to, to create create new coroutines here to get this uh, so answer one equal get network call one uh, network call one okay and uh, it shows a warning that changes to variable not it should not be well here okay and uh, this one answer two all right here also answer two and uh, here we would pass a job here so it uh, we would understand why does it take time well job one equal and uh, here well job two 
now here let me first print this both here without uh, uh, joining here without joining these both jobs here or copy this both here okay now let me run the app so what we would get here now now if you take a look here it prints null for both of these it prints null and it only took 3 millisecond not second it took 3 millisecond but uh, why because it does not wait for this uh, getting answer from these both and directly print these lines so it would uh, definitely print the null value so what we can use it uh, uh, for which we can get the value here so here we would use job one dot join here and also job two dot join here now if i run this we would uh, get the values which we have returned below let me run now here these both values are printed here why and it took three second three, uh, 3015 millisecond here it has also minimized the times uh, it was taking here 6 millisecond but now it is taking 3 millisecond it has a difference but it is a very bad experience here to print these messages uh, for return here to use this launch for return here why because this is a long process here so for that what we would use here we would use here let me copy this copy this both and here instead of this launch here we would use async here async okay and uh, also this one and remove this both okay this would print this so now here a job instead of this I would uh, use answer 1 and answer 2 here now what we would get here if I just pass these two without and if you look at this here it simply returns a defer string here why because we have passed here a string if we passed here a value here let me pass a one it is a integer now if I uh, go at this and here it is showing deferred in defer for integer it would work for this last value here now if I here pass a false here it would pass a boolean here why I it uh, shows the default of a last value here so let me remove this here and now here what we would get if I don't use await here let me run now if here if you take a look here it has not printed anything it is just printing deferred group coroutine here why because it is not waiting for the answer of these both here and directly printing this so if we want to wait it here so here we would use answer one dot await and uh, also and also use it here answer one answer two dot await here now when I run this app now it would get the answer and it would also get the a uh, whole time for 3 seconds here let me run now here take a look here these both answers are printed here and it took only 3 seconds here why because we have used async here when a person has asked that uh, why we don't use dot await here if you use it here so it is here uh, giving a warning here why because uh, uh, look it is giving redundant async call may be reduced to call in with context so it is used for the with context so we can also use it for coroutine it is the same as coroutine so we won't use await here if i change it to this it would look like this the same with context here when we don't want it here all right whenever you want to get a uh, wait for a return value you should be using this async task here async builder here okay if this video was helpful for you please give a like and also subscribe to our channel press the bell icon to get regular updates